Hello and welcome to my new video which is based on as you know in the last video we are we will uh, we were discussing about our interpolation topic so we will proceed it with that okay now as gauss's forward interpolation formula is this that is yp is y not plus p del y not plus p p minus 1 by 2 factorial del square y minus 1 and so on whereas gauss's backward interpolation formula is this so to find out sterling's formula given by <laughs> sterling, he was he was a scottish mathematician okay james sterling gave this gave this formula so to find out in order to find out the sterling's formula we have to take the mean of gauss's forward and backward interpolation formula how can you know how can we take the mean of any values sum of all observation divided by total number of observation let us suppose we have two values and we have to find out the value of mean so what do we can do we have to add and divide them by two because their number is two so yp plus left side we take the mean yp plus yp by two that is two yp by two which becomes yp y naught plus y naught by two y naught and y naught two y naught two y naught by two y naught if we take p as common this becomes delta y naught plus del y minus one by two if we take p del square y minus 1 and 2 factorial as common we get p minus 1 plus p plus 1 by 2 that is minus 1 and 1 cancel out p and p 2p 2p by 2 that is p so p is multiplied with p that which becomes p square okay now if you are taking here as common del uh, p and p minus 1 and p plus 1 this these all become two times when we divide them with 2 they will cancel out 2 will cancel out with 2 what do we get a plus b a minus b p square minus 1 p by 3 factorial and the mean of these two values is this okay so same here we have to find out the mean okay this becomes sterling formula okay now let us take an example to find to know how sterling formulas can be applied in any example to find out the interpolation term here is an example we have given the values of theta that is angle and the value of 10 theta and we have to find out using sterling's formula what is the value of 10 16 here a question arises that what is the significance to find out the interpolating term with Stirling's formula, Newton's forward formula, Newton's backward formula? What is the significance of this? Why we apply different types of formulas here? So the significance is, answer is, Stirling's formula and Bessel's formula, which we will proceed further. Stirling's formula and Bessel's formula is applied for finding out midterm. Okay. For example, here we have to find out the value of 10 16 degree, that is theta is 16, midterm. Whereas we have if we have to find out the value of 1 degree, 2 degree, 4 degree here, that is from beginning, we have learned Newton's forward operator. Okay, Newton's forward difference formula. Whereas if we have to find out the value of 26 to 29, that is from the end, then we apply what? Newton's backward formula. Okay. Now proceed it. We have to use Stirling formula to find the value of 1060. In our previous video, we have studied that the value of P is X minus X naught by H. Isn't it? So, the value of P becomes here X is theta instead of X. Theta minus theta naught. And theta naught is 15 degree because we have to find out the value of 16. So initial value is 15. So we take theta degree, theta naught as 15 degree. So we put x naught or theta naught as 15. And what is the interval between all these thetas? It is 5. Yes, obviously. So P becomes theta minus 15 by 5. Now, 
if we substitute the value of theta that is the finding term that is 16 so it becomes 16 minus 15 that is 1 by 5 that is 0 0.2 okay now we apply Stirling formula into it so firstly to apply Stirling formula we have to find out these values okay how can we find out these so we have to make Newton's forward operator table as we have said it listen to me Firstly, we take arguments. Arguments in Stirling formula, the arguments you take are the values of p. If you substitute theta as 0 here, what you get? 0 minus 15 by 5, that is minus 15 by 5, that is minus 3. If you substitute 5 here, 5 minus 15, that is minus 10 by 5, that is minus 2. If you substitute uh, 10, 10 minus 15, that is minus 5. Minus 5 by 5. Minus 1, if you substitute 15 here, 15 minus 15 is 0, 20 minus 15 is 5 by 5, that is 1, and so on, okay? And the values for these thetas, which we will substitute here, are these. So, we put all these values. Now, what we have to do to find out the value of del yp, del square yp, and so on, we have to take final minus initial value but this is written as initial value as you know this hmm? in forwards operator so we are subtracting this from this this value is y minus 3 initial value you know here so this minus this becomes this this becomes delta y del y minus 2 this one is this, this value become initial, that is del y minus 1. This minus this is this, but this value becomes initial value. From here, initial value is taken here. So, this one is this. We have, now, we find all the values which are used in Stirling's formulas. That is, y p, that is, y is our 10 theta and p is means we have to find out the value of 10, 16. So this is yp here. Y naught. Y naught is this value for 0. If we substitute argument 0, then we get this value. So 0 0.2679 plus p. p is 0 0.2. Del y naught. Value of del y naught is this, this one, y this one. Because when we take these values, second minus first, but the operator which will apply here is initial value from here. So we apply 1 minus 0, f1 minus f0, but this is f0, del f0, okay? Now apply what? Del y0, which is 0 0.0961 my plus del y minus 1, that is 0 0.0916 by 2 plus p square that is 0.2 square by 2 factorial that is 2 del square minus y minus 1 del square y minus 1 is 0 0.04 0 0.0045 okay so this will be proceeded and what we get is Point two eight six seven six, which is our required value for 1016. I hope you understand how we will be proceeded with any question using Stirling's formula. In our next video, we are talking, we are discussing about basis formula. Thank you.